Hello, this is Tom Ward. PD, My Guitar Gently Weeps, is my podcast video journal of some challenges that I, as a guitarist and singer-songwriter, have been experiencing during the past two years or so as a consequence of what a very recent medical diagnosis revealed was the onset of Parkinson's disease. My story will be told in six parts so as to limit the viewing length of each session. Additional chapters may be added as my story and journey unfolds in the hope that the sharing of my story might help others who may be experiencing a similar journey. Welcome to part one, the prologue. Greetings and thanks to everyone for listening to my song that I recently wrote and posted last month on my Tom Ward Music YouTube channel and on Facebook. And for all the wonderful feedback, it is truly appreciated. Thanks too to those who sent positive vibes my way, sensing perhaps from the lyrics that I was experiencing some life challenges and perhaps knowing that my songwriting often, but not always, is based on personal experiences and observations. At face value, the song lyrics might suggest a relationship falling apart or perhaps the loss of a loved one. Happily, my love life and marriage are absolutely fine and Linda remains the love of my life and me hers as we approach our 48th anniversary this summer. The song, Where Do I Go From Here, was written as a metaphor related to another longtime love of my life, which is guitar playing and singing. Since I was 11 years old and after seeing the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show for the first time on February 9, 1964, I have loved playing the guitar and singing. And for 35 plus years, my default guitar playing style and approach to songwriting and interpretations of covers has been fingerstyle picking. Influenced by such artists as Gordon Lightfoot, Jim Croce, James Taylor, Harry Chapin, Cat Stevens, Stan Rogers, Dan Fogelberg, and countless other singer-songwriter luminaries. Early on, I worked tirelessly and counted myself fortunate to be capable of learning, playing, and performing so many musical gems and hits from these musical icons, and to be able to use what I've learned in my own composition and arrangements of songs by other artists. Not only because I love listening to artists who play in this style, but because I derive personal pleasure playing fingerstyle guitar. Fingerstyle arrangements have typically comprised roughly half of my active repertoire and set list for any given show, and a much higher percentage of my own compositions. During the COVID pandemic, in addition to posting some of these covers as well as my originals, I also started to expand my repertoire and mixed jazz chord progressions into covers and originals. I've always felt blessed that I've been able to play and continue to improve in this style, and that once a song finger-picking pattern was learned or created, I no longer had to think about what my right hand was doing, as it and my fingers would perform the piece from muscle memory, allowing me to focus solely on my vocals and stage presence. I had even been looking forward to delving into some classical guitar music following my fourth and final retirement from the nine to five job at the end of 2022. Indeed, from that date forward, I have been facing increasing challenges to those plans. You may have remarked that starting in 2023, I was no longer posting new songs, covers and originals each week, but rather very infrequently. Hence the story of the metaphor in my new song relates to my encroaching diagnosis. The background of the lyrics and feelings expressed in the song begins here. 